<laughs> is it set up right? So welcome to our Disney haul video. It's not not just Disney. It's all like all of the stuff that we got while we we're in Florida. Yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff. I don't. I I think we did quite well. I don't think we bought as much as I thought we would buy or I would buy. Yeah, we were, we were quite restrained, I thought, in terms of all the stuff that we bought. Yeah, the, the fact that we came home with money left over was a bit of a shock to me, because we had like $300 left. I know it's not a lot, like, in the grand scheme of what we took, but for me to yeah. come back with any money at all from Disney... Yeah, I'm quite impressed, <laughs> quite impressed that, that you didn't just spend all the money... Because the, because all the money was there and all of the Disney was there. <laughs> I, I could have done if if I'd have been able to take my big case around with me around Disney Springs and just check it in at Virgin, which we didn't, because we did the Disney Springs check in. Mm. I think if I'd had my big case and no one would have had room, I probably would have bought an art piece from the Art of Disney at Disney Springs on my last day, because I've seen a few there that I liked on the very last day. But having said that, we did have one item that got broken in the case on the way home so yeah. uh, so it's uh, w whether whether it would have been worth risking bringing a piece of art home is uh, another know, thing because they had like metal signs and stuff as well they would have been fine yeah i suppose we just we've had to make sure that it was fairly kind of durable whatever it was that we that we brought home well next time we go on getting something from out of disney it's okay. happening yeah We'll start off quite quite early on, so on our our first kind of full full day. Are you, are you in, telling me you're going to remember this in days? No, that's but, but <laughs> I, I, the, the stuff that I can see in front of me is stuff that we bought on the uh, our first full day there when we went to Disney Springs, um, and we got these these pins here. There's this uh, Stitch Twenty Seventeen. That was twelve ninety nine. There's also this Doug pin. Which is awesome. That one's for me. That was twelve ninety nine as well, and it's it's bins and has all different Doug phrases, which is very exciting. Yeah, it's one cool pin. Yeah. I really wanted a spinner, but apart from Doug, there was no other spinners really that were worth it. I don't think. The other thing, just to show you that we got from uh, from Disney Springs on the first day, were our uh, our magic bands. Do you want me to get up again? No, it's okay. <laughs> Uh, Stevie got a, uh, it's actually a Magic Band 1, this one, we didn't write it, well, we, we should have noticed when we bought it, but it didn't make any difference anyway. No. Uh, it worked, just, they, they worked the same, we didn't notice any massive difference between them, uh, but this one's a, uh, a Hollywood Studios one, with uh, with Mickey on there, and it was it was quite quite appropriate really, with, with Mickey holding a, uh, a camera that um, we were filming while we were there, and mine was the, the really cool one. Well, it, it was a, mine, but I sacrificed it. Uh, you, you picked it up and showed it to me. Well, that, that was it then. That was it. That, that was my magic band. I lost out. So uh, this is a, this is an up magic band. And the, the most important bit there to show you is the fact that it has Doug on the bottom. Because I love Doug. He's my favourite. You haven't mentioned. This is a, a glass that a flaming Mo came in, in uh, Moe's Tavern, which is a Simpsons, Simpsons Land at Universal Studios. Uh, they let you keep the, uh, the glass. Uh, so it wasn't was okay. a particularly cheap drink. Um, it's non-alcoholic as yeah. well, just bear that in mind. Yeah, it's, it's non-alcoholic and it's it's more expensive, I think, than uh, that the alcoholic drinks are. But in. it does like smoke and fizz, which is yeah. quite cool. I think they put, you've well, you've said you thought it was dry ice yeah. in the bottom. There's there's something going, they put something in the bottom that reacts with the liquid that they put in, which then creates like smoke as if it's a, a real flaming moat. If you know what that is, let me know because I want to recreate it at home. Yeah. Or but, something similar anyway. But for now we have the, the flaming mo glass as a memento. Isn't it plastic though? It's not actually glass. Yeah, it is. It, is a, pla it is a plastic cup. But I like it. It's a nice little thing that we weren't expecting to actually get. Cause the whole time I was drinking it, I was asking Alan, like, do I actually get, do I to get to take this home? Does anybody know? And they brought me out a fresh one as well, so you don't take home the one you've been drinking out of. They go into the back and get you a fresh one. And it's really, really nice. I think we got this from D Living in Disney Springs. Yeah, we did. Um, I, I, to be honest, I think everybody probably got one of these in, in the world. You can get it in every shop. Yeah. They, they, well, every like every Disney shop in Orlando had these yeah. somewhere. Uh, it's the classic Mickey Mouse bottle opener. They've been selling that for a long time because uh, I have a family member who went to Orlando probably about 10 years or so ago and brought one back for various uh, other members of the family. Now, uh, now we have one to match. 
that one is twelve ninety five at the current price. We've got this as well. It's a, a Disney Parks special bottle of Diet Coke, and it actually says on there, it says share a Diet Coke at the castle. We did get um, first day at the Magic Kingdom on my birthday. We did get two of them, but I'm sure we left them in the hotel room empty, and maybe the cleaner threw them away. Yeah, they definitely, definitely went missing. So yeah. as soon as we brought that one home, I put it in my suitcase straight away at the hotel, just so it wouldn't happen again. Yeah. Just bear that in mind. I know, I know it looks like tap, but I I want to take the label off it and like display it. So I've got a friend from my old work, um, Joanne, and she is nuts on Maleficent and Stitch, and she's never been to Disney World as far as I'm aware. Uh, so I thought I'd get her this Stitch lollipop. It's a really big lollipop. It is fruit punch. I think we got it at Goofy's Candy Shop. Yeah, that, that was from Goofy's Candy in Shop, Disney definitely. Springs. This is from World of Disney in Disney Springs, and it's got like coloured in Maleficent on the front, and then I'm trying not to drop it, and then a sketch, like an outline of her on the back. I'm not going to tell the price of this just because it is a gift, and we are giving it to them tomorrow. This was from Goofy's Candy Shop as well, wasn't it? Yeah, this is for Lee, who is Joanne's husband, who used to be my manager. One of the, the classic Disney World crispy treats. They are fit. We got a pack of Rice Krispie Balls with a marshmallow and we got them at the Magic Kingdom and then we thought, oh, they'll sell those at Disney Springs as well in, uh, in Goofy's Candy Shop. And they didn't. They don't. <laughs> we were gutted because we really wanted a pack. Cause that, I don't know about you, but I was so excited to try all the Disney treats food, like mm. the ice creams and the lollies and the sweets, and I wasn't bothered about any of it at all when I actually tasted it, but those Rice Krispie balls that we had were gorgeous. Yeah, they were really tasty. And I would have loved to have brought a pack home. Yeah. They were really cheap as well for what they were, compared to other Disney treats. I felt, I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I remember thinking, oh, that's quite good actually. For yeah. what we got, because they lasted they, us like two, three days. They were uh, eight dollars. Eight dollars. Eight, eight dollars. So it's like a dollar eight. each. So what, one dollar each, which is uh, which is really good for a, a Disney Disney treat. Definitely get them. I can't remember the name of the shop. It's on Main Street, and it's it's like a, I think a bakery. It, it was in Main Street Confectionery. I is think. that what it's called? Yeah, I think so. There it's just go. um, like as as you're walking as you're walking into the park, Main Street Confectionery is the on the right. Um, it's the first thing on the corner as you're walking up Main Street USA towards the castle. You've got to try those Rice Krispie Treats. They're so good. Rice Krispie. Crispy. crispy. <laughs> Rice Krispie Treats. This is also for Lee. So I've got them both. I've got Lee and Joanne both a mug and a Disney treat. Sweet treat. Um, but yeah, Lee is not so on Star Wars. I love Star Fader. And I did, I did look for just the Darth Vader mug and I found one but it just looks like one I could get at say a supermarket here it's just Darth Vader's head and you can get those anywhere for about half the price and I thought it must already have one of those if you don't I'm disappointed but yeah I found this which you're actually the Star Wars fan so I don't know why I'm talking about this because I don't know anything it's, it's <laughs> kind of um, posters from the, the three the, the original trilogy the first three films um, just one of each from Star Wars, uh, Empire, and Return of the Jedi, um, and you notice that the the handle on the mug is actually a lightsaber. Yeah. As well. It's Again, really cool. I won't tell you the price of this because it's a gift. Uh, on the inside as well, actually. Let's see if I can. It actually says Star Wars on the inside. So yeah, I just thought it's quite a big size. So I hope he likes big brews. <laughs> but it's huge. But I just thought it was really cool. Mm -hmm. This, this, the autograph the, book this that wasn't the, meant to be. The, the, the autograph book and the uh, the official Disney autograph pen, which we bought in Disney Springs on the first day. Um, and then uh, Stevie forgot to take them to Magic Kingdom. I was having so much fun with everything else going on that I forgot to take them. But I have had an idea, which is the pictures that we got from the photo pass, the memory maker this time round. I'm going to stick them in the pages and then next time we go, I'm going to get the relative character to sign next to the photo and then get yeah. new photos and do the same. Yeah. So it will get used, it just might be in like three or four years. <laughs> the autograph book itself was uh, 7 dollars um, and the, the pen um, hasn't actually got a price on it. 
Um, I think it was like eight ninety nine. Maybe. Yeah, it was, it was about something like eight dollars or something. But you see, it's quite a quite a chunky pen because the characters obviously um, they've got quite chunky hands, so it's difficult for them to hold a normal size pen. This is a, a pack of Disney doggy bandanas. These were seventeen ninety nine in the parks when they were on sale, and uh, in the outlet we got these for for six ninety nine. So it's a really good uh, really good price. We got various <laughs> pins. Well, I think. Uh, in the US, they call them uh, buttons. Uh, we call them badges or, or yeah. pins or, or whatever. I call but, them badges. Uh, yeah. I call them badges, but while I was there, I was calling them pins. That's the happy birthday one that Stevie had on her birthday. Or the I'm celebrating badge, which was mine when I was celebrating Stevie's birthday. <laughs> That's your first visit one. Yeah. I like that one because it's got Mickey and all his pals. I've not got as long an arm as you. I can't reach. You'll have to reach. <laughs> I'll reach and, and you can talk about them. Yeah. They're both lion guard ones, aren't they? Yeah, I think we just got these in Animal King. What were they for? Oh, we went to get our engagement ones and they gave us these as well. Yeah, we, we'd actually, I think we wrote on these uh, celebrating our engagement. Yeah, but they can still, see it a bit more on that yeah, one. Yeah, you can still see it on, uh, on this one. But uh, on this one, they... We had really heavy rain on the afternoon when we were in Animal Kingdom, so I think it's just all washed away on that one. It's the same with the engagement ones as well. We both got got these as well. Uh, Again, they had writing on, but they washed off. But yeah. we'll just we'll rewrite that one. Yeah, nice little sort of memories anyway. I think we got the. I think we were walking out. I can't remember which park it was. I think it was Animal out. Kingdom. I'm sure it was the same day. Or it might have been Hollywood yeah. Studios. Yeah, it might have been Hollywood Studios. But we were walking out and they were just giving these out at like the barriers, the security bit. What are they called? The exit. <laughs> <laughs> we were walking out of the exit. The exit! And they were giving away <laughs> three, three cars, three ones. Yeah, they, they weren't for anything in particular. They just, uh, the cast members were giving those out. They were just to promoting, because obviously it came out while we were there. Yeah, Car so. Cars 3, uh, at the time that we're filming this, uh, Cars 3 hasn't actually come out in the UK yet, but it, it, it did, it came out during the time that we were in the US. So I, I think uh, it may may even have been the day that Cars 3 was released in theatres. Yeah, uh, in June theaters. 16th, it says on the button. Yeah, which I think that, that was the day that we went to Hollywood Studios, which would make yeah. sense. So they, they were giving these out on Cars 3 release day at uh, Hollywood Studios when we were on the way out. These ones were just... Uh, we uh, made a couple of purchases in the in the shops in Animal Kingdom, and uh, you can add those on for uh, like a couple of dollars or something. They ask you to round it up, I think it is. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how much. I know on one of the receipts it says two dollars, but they round it up to something. But I just said, yeah, it's animal conservation, just do it. Yeah, <laughs> but they're, they're, um, the, the proceeds from these badges uh, go towards Disney's uh, conservation fund, which is obviously uh, to help animals, which is... We can we can get behind that course. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna get out every individual one to show you. I'll just get out one or two. Yeah, it's quite difficult to show you these on the camera. Oh, that's five dollars in there. Uh, but these are the uh, the pressed coins that you can get from various places around the Disney parks. Do you want to show them that one? Because that one's a bit different. The dated 2017 one. Um, yeah. I'll show you that there. We collected these from. Uh, it's actually for a for a colleague of of Stevie's. Yeah, for Michelle, who I work with, um, she just asked us to collect them while we were there. She gave me the money to do it. Um, but yeah, we collected as many as we could. But to be fair, on the majority of days, we just didn't have change because we were paying for the majority of things on our card, yeah. on our prepaid card. It was very rare we had actual money on us. Um, so it was quite hard to do, but we did yeah, it nonetheless, it, uh, we got quite a bit. Especially because you, you need to get one of the pennies, um, it's actually 51 cents, you, yeah. need, you need to put two quarters in, and the uh, the penny itself. Some of them did have change machines next Yeah, to I was them. just going to say that, I think any in like main hubs, usually any near the loos or near restaurants and stuff, or in the gift shop, they all had change machines where you could change anything up to $10. But I do want to say, while we're on the topic of Michelle, that as anybody who's watched our previous videos would know, we got engaged while we were there on my birthday at the Magic Kingdom. Somebody proposed. I won't tell you. But 
Michelle was actually at Disneyland Paris while we were in Florida and she got us a card, an engagement card, which is somewhere behind us in here. And she got us a little coin. Do you want to hold that for me? It's like a little souvenir coin for the 25th anniversary at Disneyland Paris. There's a little engagement present, which I thought was lovely. It was really sweet of her. That's the, uh, the back of it there. I don't know how well that'll focus on the camera. Yeah, the camera doesn't want to focus on it very well. This one was from Hogsmeade in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And it's a chocolate frog. The yeah. most expensive bit of chocolate in my life. Yeah, how much was that again? I think it was $10. In fact, it says uh, 10 95 uh, We got this from the sweet shop in uh, in Hogsmeade. Um, obviously, the chocolate frog was consumed very shortly afterwards because there's no way that it would have uh, would have lasted in Florida heat. They, they, they tasted, in our actual video you'll see, but um, they tasted okay. It wasn't amazing chocolate. I think it's more the novelty of getting the chocolate frog and the card and everything with it. Yeah, the card is Rowena Ravenclaw. She's stuck. And it says on the back, Rowena Ravenclaw, medieval precise states unknown, one of the four famous founders of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. That's the, uh, that's the blurb on the, on the back. back of it. And then uh, that's that actual thing there. And you can see, uh, if I move it around, it's actually a, uh, a little moving. She moves around. I was really, really hoping to get Dumbledore or Sirius Black. I don't think Sirius Black would be on them, to be fair. But I know Dumbledore is. But I'm happy with rolling the Raven Claw. But yeah, very expensive yeah. chocolate frog. We did also get from the same shop, uh, which I think was Honey Dukes. Um, we got Bertie Bots Every Flavour Beans. But we actually threw them away in the hotel because yeah. they were minging. Yeah. They're... Even like the, the novelty of having the box wasn't even worth it. They were the same price, ten ninety five, And they were foul. Yeah, they were... Uh... They were not tasty. It was. I, I can appreciate that. That that's, that's to the kind certain of the extent point. Is, is the point that the the horrible tasting jelly beans, but that some of them were really ridiculous. were really were horrible. Like you can understand, like maybe yeah. make them taste really sour or something like that. But but no, like rotten egg flavor. Yeah, I got one that was rotten egg, and that was it. And it went in the bin. Dirt flavor, I think, was another one. Dirt didn't bother me. <laughs> I forget a lot of dirt as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> but no. Um, the rotten egg definitely. Oh no, that put me off and that was it. No. So it's a nice novelty to get, but I just ended up throwing them away with the box. Um, which I shouldn't have done, I should have kept the box really, but it was just a spur of the moment like these are disgusting. Wob. Yeah, so we've got all of our uh, our park maps in here. Um, I won't I won't get all of these out and show you, but um, yeah, this is all, all of the uh, all the different park maps and bits of leaflets and stuff that we picked up while we were there. This one we got. I think we got this from uh, from Disney Springs on the first day. Yeah, we did. Uh, it's a dated photo album. Uh, this was nineteen ninety nine. Um, Which isn't bad, really. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, I think it holds uh, two hundred. Um, yeah, it holds two hundred four by six inch photos. Uh, it's got space in there to hold uh, a couple of photo CDs as well to to back up any digital copies of uh, photos. We've actually not it's opened it to see the design on the inside. Here's the uh, the inside. You can see it's uh, that's the little CD wallet in the front. But uh, we open up onto. Uh, they're all joined together. Uh, they're, all, they're, all, they're all joined yeah. together at the moment. But, they all uh, look the same. Yeah, but uh, you can see it's uh, it says twenty seventeen on there. There's room for two photos on each page and a little uh, little note next to each of them as well, so you can write down uh, what the memory of each photo was. These were from Disney Springs, I think. I don't know, in fact, we got... We, no, got, we, we saw them at Disney Springs on the first day in Disney Living. Yeah, we saw um, them in D Living and they had them in World of Disney as well. Yeah. Um, and I, I think they were... Um, what were they about? Nine or ten dollars? I'm not saying back. No, there was, it hasn't got the, uh, the, the... You can see where the label was, but it's been peeled off. Um, but I think the, these are around at the ten dollar mark in, uh, in Disney Springs and in D Living. Uh, we got them from a shop in uh, in Old Town. Annie's Gifts, I yeah, from, from Annie's Gifts in Old Town, and uh, they were six ninety nine. Um, and they're actually, uh, I think they're actually themed, or at least some of them are themed around the uh, the different parking lots at Disney Springs. You can see we've got uh, orange and lime on there at least. Ah, oh, I never even noticed that. I just noticed they were Mickey heads. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's Mickey heads. Um, uh, potentially Disney Springs parking lot. I don't know because they've got a coasters. strawberry one, haven't they? And there's no strawberry on there. Yeah, I suppose. 
It's definitely. Well, got, maybe it's just fruit. It's got orange. Oh, that's, oh, that's. Is that is that one orange? I don't know. It's two. That one's that one's maybe. One will be grapefruit. Yeah, maybe. Then that that second one's grapefruit. Yeah, grapefruit, orange. No, orange, grapefruit, lemon lime. Ah, okay. I yeah. think. Yeah, fruit, fruit, <laughs> fruity coasters. There's some fruity coasters that may or not be themed, may or may not be themed after Disney Springs parking lots. We we don't know. We don't know, guys. Do you know? <laughs> but we like them anyway. Yeah, we needed coasters, some coasters. And they've been in the pack for two weeks since we got home because we've been waiting to do this video. Yeah. So now we can actually get in that the pack and use them. There was another set of coasters. It was another set of four coasters that I absolutely absolutely loved. Uh, they were in a little Mickey Mouse head holder. They were ceramic. They were white and they just had, I think it was Mickey on one, Minnie on another, I believe Donald on another and then Goofy and they all had the signatures next to them and they were gorgeous but they were twenty one ninety nine and they were so fragile. I was scared yeah. of bringing them home. Yeah, it was uh, twenty one ninety nine. Uh, was quite a lot for some, for some coasters, I unfortunately. Especially fragile ones that may have broken yeah, on the way home. Yeah, I, I did absolutely love them and I probably would get them if they were there next time. But, yeah, I was too scared of bringing them home. With our suitcases being as packed as they were, because we brought way too much stuff. I brought loads of hair products and curlers and straighteners and everything. I couldn't do anything with my hair in that humidity. It was pointless to bringing any hair stuff apart from a brush. That's all I did, brush and a bit of straightening. Mm. So I could have saved so much room on my suitcase. So next time, that's what I'll be doing. I'll have more space for stuff to bring back and I can spend more money. Definitely. <laughs> this is a... We I think it's like a uh, like a counter saver. You put it on your kitchen work surfaces, and uh, you put hot things on there. Like I think you could put a teapot down on it, yeah. or uh, or kitchen utensils. I or think a it's hot meant pan. for a teapot that one, just because of the shape. Yeah, it's got it's, it, that would make sense because it's round, and uh, yeah, obviously a most teapots are round. You could put that on there, but you could use that for general kitchen use, whatever you want to put on yeah. it. Yeah, there was actually a. Disney teapot that I wanted to get to go with it in World of Disney um, but again it was too big and too fragile to bring home so I end up settling for just bringing this. Yeah uh, this was fourteen ninety five. as I said we I think we got this from uh, from World of Disney. Yeah it was next day, to the teapot. We yeah. yeah it being next to the teapot so I imagine it probably is meant to be a teapot stand. Yeah. This, let me just take this out of here this is a, a Mickey straw Wait, we can't actually remember where we got this from. I think it was Casey's Corner on my birthday. Yeah. I think. I might be wrong. I'm sure you could pay extra to get it a Mickey straw. Yeah, there was a one of the drinks on the menu and you, you paid like a few a couple of dollars. It was extra. ninety nine cents or something. Yeah, and you got this uh, this Mickey ears bendy straw. But it was like get that for ninety nine cents or go and pay. I think it was something like thirteen dollars for four straight plastic straws with like little Mickey heads on. Mm. So to me, getting that. Yeah. Yeah. That made sense. That was being held uh, in this, which is a souvenir Kennedy Space Center cup. Um, again, th this was uh, I bought this, or we bought this rather at uh, Kennedy Space Center, and uh, you paid one price and then I think, I think you could refill your drinks for um, one dollar each for the rest of the day at Kennedy Space Centre while you were uh, while you were there so it was a souvenir and as it was a hot day as was normal for, uh, for Florida yeah. it, uh, it made sense to, to keep refilling the drinks this thing um, we mentioned we, well it, it, these videos aren't online yet um, but these we picked this up for the first time that we went to Universal Studios um, and it's a Coca-Cola freestyle cup. You can see there it's got uh, Universal Studios and the Islands of Adventure logos on. But at, at all of the Universal parks, so at Studios, Islands of Adventure and at Volcano Bay as well. Um, once you'd bought this on the first day, I, I think on the first day it was about uh, $15, $16, mm. something like that. And then I think it was like 14 and then it cost $7 to reactivate it. I think uh, it was something like that. Yeah, but the, basically there's, there's a, a price that you pay to buy this for the first day that you buy it. And then every time you go back to one of the parks, you can switch it back on again um, for that for that entire day. And that, that was about 7 or $8 to re-enable re, to, to re it. And then all, you've got free, free refills then throughout the rest of the day. 
I definitely recommend it as well. If you're not bothered about sharing a drink, because obviously we're not bothered, but it saved us so much money, we would have spent a fortune on drinks otherwise. I think maybe for like a large family, I don't know, but for us too, it saved us a lot of money. I would say that in the Harry Potter part of the Universal Parks, there are no refill stations at all. Which yeah. we found out like walking halfway down there. Yeah, in Harry Potter, and uh, we couldn't find any in Simpsons Land either in yeah. Universal Studios. So uh, it, it is good value, but, but you have to be a little bit uh, strategic in terms of uh, when, when and where you fill this up because you, you may be walking through the park um, and then find that you're nowhere near a refill station for a little while, particularly if you're, if you're going exploring the, the Wisdom World of Harry Potter because there's definitely no refill points for those anywhere there. The only things that you can buy there are, um, um, well, predominantly the, the Harry Potter themed drinks um, or soft drinks in, well, at full price again. Yeah. Also, be very smart and fill it up before you leave the park. Free drink for the ride home. Yeah, because, uh, well, heading back to the parking lot at Universal as well is a, uh, is a, is a reasonable, it's probably a 10 or 15 minute walk. So uh, even for the, the walk back to the car, it's nice to have a, uh, a hot drink, uh, a, cold, a, hot drink. Uh, <laughs> a cold drink on a hot day. <laughs> Little Winnie the Pooh and Tigger key ring. We're, we're not sure whether that's official Disney. I don't think old. it is. Uh, but that, I'd be that, surprised if it is. It was from uh, Annie's Gift in Old Town. It was, yeah. only, it was only 4 99 This is when I was still looking for something Tigger and I hadn't found anything yet. And I just bought it out of desperation. But I do, I do still like it, but it needs to go on my keys. This thing has got Lilo and Stitch on it, and it says Ohana. Got Lilo and Stitch on one side, and Stitch on his own on the other side. I'm going to start using this for work, I think. I'm, I'm debating it. Do you think it's robust enough for work? I don't know. It might get damaged, and then you'd be sad. Uh, don't say that. All right, shall we talk about this bag? Yeah, you bought that from Disney Springs on the first day, didn't you? I did. Um, it was literally, I just wanted a bag that was smaller than my backpack for carrying around the parks, even though I just ended up using my backpack anyway for most of the trip. I bought a 2017 backpack as well, in addition to this. I bought that a few days after I bought this. Um, I don't know how much this was. It don't have a price tag any, anymore. I want to say 17 99 That Something sounds around, right. around that price. Um, Maybe 19 99 I shouldn't have bought it. I didn't really use it. It's it's very limited space inside. It wouldn't even. It just about fit my purse and my phone in, and that was it. But it's also the material's not very good. But that's what you expect from a cheap bag. I did just want a cheap bag, but like my jeans ran on it and everything, so it's got a big blue stripe down the middle. I've not washed it yet. Got this. So I show you the, show you the outside of this first. The, uh, the inside too, which is all shiny. It's actually got the castle on the inside as well. Yeah, the uh, Cinderella castle on the inside. Twelve ninety nine from World of Disney. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we saw it very early on in the holiday actually, and I fell in love with it, but I didn't want to get it so early and risk it being broken. I'm sure we got it near the end of the holiday. Might even have uh, been on the last day. Yeah, I think we might, might have got on the last day, or I think we went to Disney Springs on uh, an evening about halfway through the uh, the holiday. I think we may have picked it up then. I don't even know if I'll use it as a candle holder, because I'd be worried about damaging it. It's where it's pretty robust. It's so pretty, though. Like, look at that blue. Like, that's yeah. a proper nice blue. Uh, I'm sure it'll look even nicer with a candle flickering away inside it. Okay. So we're gonna to have to get a candle anyway, but I fell in love with this and it's probably one of my more favourite things that we bought while we were there. Yeah. And twelve ninety nine I'm pretty happy with that, especially Disney prices. This is a mug with various Winnie the Pool characters on. It was fourteen ninety five. They're still full of stuff in at the moment. I don't know yeah. is, is there a picture inside? I don't think so. Oh yeah. Yeah, a little bumblebee. Little bumblebee inside, looking for some honey. I've not started using this yet, but this will actually be used. It's not one to go in my cupboard. Like I've got a cupboard full of Disney stuff behind me, and another one over there. 
So this will actually get used at the Winnie the Pooh shop, 100 acre goods. This is a 2017 Disney World picture frame Christmas ornament. You hang that up on the, uh, on the tree at Christmas and put a photo in there from our holiday this year. I probably wouldn't actually hang that on the tree because it's quite heavy. Yeah, it has got a uh, like a, a flap on the back as well, so you can uh, you can put it down like that. So probably just do that. Maybe we'll do that instead. Just because I know I'd cry if it fell off the tree and broke. A sixteen ninety nine. I think we bought that in the um, the Disney Christmas shop at Disney Springs. We did, yeah. At the same time that I was getting that key for Dave. Yeah. That worked, bought, my team leader. Yeah, we bought a uh, a few things. In the uh, in the Disney Christmas shop, and that was one of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. On the the subject of uh, Christmas decorations, we got a few here that we got from the uh, from the outlet. Uh, this one's got the aliens from Toy Story on it, saying "Ooh." <laughs> what are they saying? Ooh. <laughs> um, this was this was actually on sale for four ninety nine, which is a really good, really good price actually for uh, for a Disney ornament. Yeah, I think the majority of the ornaments actually in the parks, not in the outlet, were for for ones that look like that or like these ones. Um, they were about between twenty and twenty five dollars, for the most part. And we've got four here. So we've got that one that you've just seen. We've got this one, Lady in the Tramp. Yeah, Lady in the Tramp one there. Uh, and in fact, this one. Uh, it's got the original price tag on at uh, in the park this was 22.99 and we got it for 4.99 can't really, believe uh, that yeah really good price yeah. this one's got uh, tigger and eeyore on it that again that one was uh, 4.99 which uh, is reduced from 21.99 in the park so it's a uh, ridiculously good value and your favorite yeah my favorite one i uh, wow. can't Doug. Which is awesome. He was also four ninety nine, reduced from twenty one ninety nine, which is a uh, a really good price. Especially for Doug. Yeah. So as you'll see on the videos, I was going nuts the whole holiday, or from half the holiday, because I could not find anything that was just Tigger that actually looked like Tigger. We found a lot of little like decorations and cartoony teddies, but they didn't look like Tigger. No. Just like a different version of him. And in Epcot, I want to say, I think it was in yeah, Epcot. Yeah, it was in Epcot, uh, just as you're going into the, the World Showcase. Mm. There's a, uh, it's called Disney, Disney Traders, Traders Plaza Towers East, according to the uh, the receipt. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is where Stevie finally found her Tigger. It's also where you got the dog t-shirt. Yes. But yeah, I got a Tigger! He actually looks like Tigger and I'm so happy. And I love him and I did pay a silly amount of money for a teddy for him. How much was it? Twenty four ninety nine, dollars 25 for a teddy. But he's Tigger and I love him. And I'm so happy that I got him. Don't knock over any mugs. <laughs> oh, he's in the video! Springy Tails and Tigger. I also got, on the subject of Teddy's, a big stitch. Fairly certain that that was going to happen at some point while we were there. Yeah. Uh, you eventually caved in on the last day, didn't you? Yeah, I was very good. I didn't. I, I kept telling myself, I'm not going to get one because it's a silly amount of money. We've got other things that we need to buy. We've got, we've got to eat while we're here. <laughs> but on the last day, when we had this, we had about $500 left over. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and I just thought, you know what? I'm getting a stitch. I wanted the really, really, really big one, but it wasn't a fit in my cabin case. But we squished this one in. And I love him. And he was twenty seven ninety nine. But even more than Tigger. But he is awesome. And he was from World of Disney. At Disney Springs. And he's cool. On the subject of Teddy still I need to put him somewhere safer. Is he okay though? <laughs> You're just going to get blocked by teddies gradually. Yeah, I have a wall of teddies in front of me. On the subject of teddies, I actually saw 
several teddies while we were there that I really loved, but I picked two really special ones that I really wanted. Um, but when I got back, I was looking on eBay for something. I can't remember what I was looking at, but this pops up on my little alerts thing that you get, like you might be interested in this. And I actually got two teddies that I'd seen in the parks. And these were, I want to say 24 99 each, which was another Tigger. We all love Tigger. With a little Roo on his shoulder. So I got him. Sorry, you're going to get like walled by Teddy. And also another version of Stitch. It's like I a, have two stitches. Two stitches. But he's, he's not as cuddly. He's like more of a sit down, like stay sat down kind of thing rather than a cuddly. Yeah. But he's, yeah, he's a bit firmer. But I actually got both of these for £10 when they would have been 50, I, I want to say $25 each at the parks, give or take a couple of dollars. Um, so I was yeah. made up with that. Yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty good deal we got there. Yeah, and they're like new, like, there's no damage on them. There's no marks, but not I can see anyway, so I'm really happy with that. I'll put these over here so you're not getting a wall of teddies off. So, Stevie spent a lot of time uh, throughout the uh, the time that we were in Orlando looking for this. Uh, she's a big collector of the Jim Shaw stuff. And uh, this is Doug P in Minecart, which is actually one of the carts from the Seven Doors Mine Train. Um, and it's a park exclusive. Yeah. We, we finally found it in Magic Kingdom when we went there for the second time towards the, the end of our two weeks there. Yeah, it was in Uptown Jewelers. On Main Street in the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, um, no, we uh, we did later see it in uh, the Art of Disney. Yeah, well. and in a few other shops. Even though we haven't seen it the whole holiday, as soon as we bought it, it always happens. As soon as you buy it, you see it everywhere. Yeah, because you've been looking for it and panicking that uh, that you weren't going to find yeah. it. Yeah, so uh, I'd seen every other park exclusive apart from the one I was after. And if I'd had the money, I would have got them all to be fair. But these, this is the one that I set off on day one, <laughs> saying I want this. It's a good find in the end. Yeah, but he was forty-five dollars from Uptown Jewelers, but for a park exclusive, that's not that bad. Yeah, it's pretty. But I've good. got ones in there that you can get anywhere that I've probably paid more than that for. But I'm gonna go put him back in the cupboard before he gets broken. Mm. This is the one kind of ride photo that we paid for at Universal Studios, so at Disney, because we had the photo pass, all of our photos were included, but um, our favourite ride at Universal was the Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket roller coaster, so we paid it was about $40 to to have um, an on-ride DVD, because they did a mm -hmm. video of, uh, of you on the ride, um, and photo as well, uh, so yeah, there's our, our photo in there, with me pulling a rather interesting face. Um, but, unfortunately, on the way home, um, the, the DVD split in half, <laughs> so it's not Clean much use. Up. Um, I have contacted Amazing Pictures, who are Universal Studios' um, photography supplier for, uh, for the on-ride photos. At least for um, Ride Rocket, I yeah. don't know if it's for the whole park. Yeah, they're, they're, it's, I don't, yeah, I don't know if they do the whole the whole park, but uh, but yeah, they definitely there's definitely those guys that do um, Rip Ride Rocket, and uh, they offered to to send out another copy of the DVD. Since they don't do digital copies, they couldn't give me a link to, to just download the the video file. But uh, yeah, they could send me another uh, DVD. It hasn't arrived yet, but um, I assume they'll be sending it kind of like economy mail from the the US. So. I'd expect it. It'll probably take a couple of weeks to get here. Yeah. So we're going to tell you about all of the various bits of clothing that we got, mainly t-shirts, but there's a few uh, a few hoodies and stuff as well. Yeah, I'm just going to zip it up so they can see the full. Uh, this was one of my big buys. So it's a Stitch hoodie. And it's got Stitch on the front, obviously. But it's actually, it's got Stitch, as in it's got his name, and then it's actually got Stitch on the front as well. But I think this, I've actually got the receipt somewhere, I can't remember where I got it. I think it was something like 59 95 It was a very expensive hoodie. Yeah, it, was, uh, it was one that you picked up in Disney Springs on the last day, wasn't it? You, yeah. 
you realised you did have a little bit of money spare and you, you treated yourself to that. It's got a big stitch on the back with loads of like sketches of stitch. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick that up and I don't want to drag it over the table and smash loads of things. But yeah, that's my stitch hoodie that I got. This hoodie, again, was mine. Um, it was actually from Disney Quest, which I believe yeah. it's shut down now, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it, it closed the, the weekend after we came home. Um, Disney Quest closed. We, we didn't go in Disney Quest itself, uh, but we went into the uh, the gift shop at yeah. the end of Disney Quest, basically. Um, you have to excuse, it's got dog hairs all over it, as it is the hoodie that I used to go and pick Max up when we first got home. And dog hairs just yeah. don't go away. Yeah, it was, uh, Max was very excited to see us when uh, when we went to pick him up after we'd kept, we'd come home after... Uh, nearly two and a half weeks of not seeing him and he, he jumped all over Stevie and put uh, lovely dog Maxi Fluff all over uh, Stevie's nice black hoodie. Should have known better really. This is a uh, Mickey t-shirt that Stevie got. Um, she's also got a, a stitch one mm -hmm. which is a very similar design. I'm not sure if I can hold both at the same time. <laughs> yeah. There we go, we've got a Mickey and a stitch. Matching Mickey and stitch. Um, they, were, uh, they were from the world of Disney. At Disney Springs on the last day. And I think, sorry, Bob. That they were $25 each or two for $40. But that deal wasn't on the entire time we were there. It yeah. only came on like the last couple of days when we were on holiday. Yeah, that's, I, I think that was the case. Uh, because we didn't see I, it advertised anywhere before. Yeah, we, we, did, we said the first time, in fact, and the second time we went to Disney Springs, we didn't notice um, the shirts on offer for two for $40. Um, they they were still priced at twenty five dollars each, but definitely on when we went to Disney Springs on that last day, um, quite a lot of the t shirts that were priced at, um, at well twenty four ninety five or twenty four ninety nine as it was, uh, were two for forty dollars, which was uh, reasonably good value really. It means you you're getting the t shirts for twenty dollars each at Disney, which is uh, which is not not too bad. Alright, this is my stage shirt. And it's blue. Yeah, this was, uh, again, we saw this on sale at various places around the parks and at uh, Disney Springs as well. Uh, but this specific shirt, Stevie got it from <laughs> Keystone Clothiers at uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios. Uh, it was thirty six ninety five. and it was the same price, same price across all the, uh, all the shops. It's a very, like, breathable material, but I would say I wore it for one of the days at Disney and I was roasting in it. It was really heavy. I think because obviously you're on the water rides and stuff, it doesn't hold water very well. Um, it just did become really heavy, but I will wear this at home all the time, out and about. It says on the back as well, established 02. I want to say that that's when Leland and Stitch was released. Yeah. But I'm not 100%. No, I'm pretty sure it is. I think it is. Yeah, because there, 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 there was a series of, of these um, and it was all the... Um, it had a character on the front and then it said established and then two digits and it was the year that the uh, the character first appeared which in, in this case was 2002 for Lilo and Stitch. This one I, I think um, I got this one from the Disney outlet I think it was 9 99 uh, the the Disney outlets and um, this is another one that um, I sorry I just got my phone. seen the, oh. this sort of very similar shirts to this um, in the parks themselves in the, for the same price as sort of 24 95 that a lot of the t-shirts were uh, but yeah 9.99 at the outlet got a really good price for it your favorite again yeah this one's my uh, my doug t-shirt uh, i think we bought this from epcot it's the same time as uh, as stevie found uh, tigger found tigger it was the full price of uh, 24.95 we paid for that one yeah another disney world t-shirt they, I, I got quite a few more t-shirts than Stevie did, to be I honest. I was more bothered about my teddies and my mugs. Yeah. You didn't get a mug at all. No, I didn't get a mug. But, uh, but yeah, another another t-shirt there. I think that, again, that was 24 95 yeah. This one's a bit of a, a, a cool Star Wars shirt. With cool. uh, going vroom, vroom, like the, the noise that the lightsaber makes. Is that what it when, does? Uh, when you're waving <laughs> it around. Uh, and it's sort of cartoony Vader and, and Luke having a lightsaber battle. Uh, aboard the Death Star, I think. Um, yeah, that was in the... I can't remember exactly what the store was, but it was in Hollywood Studios. 
Uh, we've been looking at, um, at Star Wars stuff all day, and this one was twenty four ninety five as well. There's a bit of a theme here with the, uh, yeah. the the price of the shirts. There was a very consistent price for the majority of the shirts across the uh, the Disney parks. However, there was a vest top that I fell in love with that was surprisingly Lilo and Stitch. Why was that vest top like thirty nine dollars? And that's yeah. What one thing we did notice is that in most cases the vest tops at Disney were more expensive than t-shirts. Yeah, but it was ridiculous. Sh sh it's a, to it's all intents and purposes, a, a vest top is just a t-shirt with no sleeves, but pretty much, give or take. So it's less material, but it costs them more money. Yeah, it was very, very, very pretty. And I nearly did buy it, but I just I couldn't justify $40 for a vest. This one's a uh, NASA t-shirt from Kennedy Space Center. This was... Uh, in a bundle where you got a t-shirt and a cap and I, th I think it was uh, about seventeen ninety nine. I'm not sure. Uh, but it was a really good price anyway um, and you got a, the cap and a t-shirt as well for um, a really good price. You definitely did get more t-shirts than me. Break neck. Yeah. Still going. Yeah, another uh, Disney World shirt. I think this might be another one that I got from the outlet. Uh, this was nine ninety nine, but uh, we saw this on sale in the uh, in the parks for the full price of twenty four ninety five. So the fact that uh, that we managed to pick it up for nine ninety nine, I was quite pleased with. We didn't get that much from Universal in terms of souvenirs. No. But um, yeah, we got a "You don't win friends with salad" shirt. Famous quote from The Simpsons. Uh, Homer Simpson there barbecue and a sausage. And you actually saw this on the first day that we went to Universal, and you didn't get it. Yeah, we decided to leave it and then we, we went back because we knew we'd be probably doing a second visit to Universal Studios. So when we did go back there on the, I think it was the final Saturday that we were in Florida, we uh, we picked that up. And then lastly, I uh, picked this up from uh, Disney Springs on the last day as well. And it's actually got the uh, the coordinates for uh, the Magic Kingdom on there. I, I assume that that's, uh, they are genuine the coordinates for uh, the Magic Kingdom. Uh, perhaps it's worth checking that out. It's not just some random coordinates, but uh, it's got a nice picture of uh, the castle on there, a few Mickey heads, and there's a, like a silhouetted picture of Walter, the Walt and Mickey statue down here. Uh, that was twenty four ninety five again in the uh, twenty four ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine. Sorry. Um, yeah, there, there was there was a lot of there were twenty four ninety five or twenty four ninety nine. There was like four cents difference, but. Um, the, the majority of the shirts that were at, at that price in Disney Springs on the last day were all in the two for forty dollars special deal. Oh, in fact, in fact uh, there's Ooh. another T-shirt that I've not shown you. Oh, oh <laughs> uh, no! I'm, 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 I'm no, worried. you planned uh, this. This, this one is. It says, oh. "I conquered. It's a small world." Which was Stevie's favourite ride while we were there. Bloody as you, ride. As you, can, as you can see. Uh, Ten minutes of. Ten, ten minutes, ten minutes of, of wonderful music. Oh, it wasn't it was insanity. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a. Uh, I thought because Stevie loved it so much, I'd get a souvenir of it. It's a small world. Oh, cheers. Um, this was it was from Disney Springs on the last day, and again, it was in that uh, kind two of twenty five. Yeah, two for forty dollars or twenty five dollars each. We also got this pick, guitar pick. If it wants to focus, I'm not sure if it will. I don't think it is. Yeah, it's not got a macro lens on it. No. It won't focus on something really close. But anyway, it's a pick from the Rockin' Roller Coaster in Hollywood Studios, the Aerosmith yeah. roller coaster. Um, me and my, well, more so my dad plays guitar. Uh, I just thought it was a little extra thing. I've actually already given my dad his presents. Well, I forgot to yeah. take that because that was in Alan's wallet, being safe. I think that's so, everything. Yeah, so we, we think that's... In terms of stuff that's on the table that mm -hmm. uh, that we've got to show you, and um, we've got a few little uh, little extra sections to show you, which we'll show um, after this bit. We got a photo, uh, like a framed print of Ray from Star Wars, which we'll show you here. This was from the uh, launch bay, Star Wars launch bay section in Disney's Hollywood Studios, and it was a a gift for a, a colleague of mine at work, who's uh, a massive Star Wars fan. We got these two 2017 Disney World fridge magnets. But they are for two of two of my colleagues, um, Kate, 
who's one of my team leaders, and Jen, who's also one of my team leaders. Um, they both asked if they could have a fridge magnet, and I thought, yeah. <laughs> got them from World of Disney at Disney Spring. We got a uh, Christmas ornament in the shape of a key, which we'll show you a picture of here. So uh, yeah, I got this key for my team leader Dave on the first day, well the first full day that we had at Disney, um, in Disney Springs at the Christmas shop. I can't remember what exactly, is it just called Disney's Christmas shop? Yeah. You can't so, miss it. So it's, 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 it's a bit, it's in, in Disney Springs, near the world of Disney, as you come out, very Christmassy shop in the middle yeah. of Disney, Disney Springs. Oh, the dream catcher. Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the dream capture, which we'll show you a picture of here. That was from it was from Hollywood Studios, from a little stall as we came out of the Indiana Jones stunt stunt spectacular. Yeah. Because um, one of Stevie's colleagues had asked for a uh, a dream capture. And yes. It was the first time he'd seen one. Steve, one of the lads that I work with, uh, got it for him. But it was actually a little craft stall, and they were actually sat there crafting them. You could like see them hand making them to sell. We'll uh, cut over now to a uh, little extra bit that we've got because I recorded some videos separately um, before we gave gifts to my parents and Stevie's parents. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> so we'll show you that bit now. So we just wanted to show you a few things that um, we're giving as gifts to uh, to my parents um, because we uh, I'm going to go and see them um, in a little while today. Yeah, so the, so the stuff that I'm giving to them won't be around anymore when we're recording the uh, the proper haul video. So I got them this Disney photo frame and I've filled it with some of the photo pass photos that we got around the various parks. So we've got a photo of us at uh, Everest there, um, one on Main Street USA in front of the castle, one at Epcot in front of Spaceship Earth, another one from the Magic Kingdom when we met Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. Then one from Hollywood Studios in front of the Star Wars launch bay. Also got this mug, which is for my sister, which has got various cute animals on it. You can see we've got a nice Bambi there. This one is a official Disney Parks mug. Got the, the stag in there as well from Bambi. I got my dad a Big Thunder Mountain Railroad mug because he likes trains and it's got a picture of a train on it. And um, I, I do remember riding Big Thunder Mountain Railroad with uh, my dad when I was a kid when we went to uh, Disney back in 98 as well as the the photo frame that we got from mum and dad mum likes a nice tea towel as well so we got her a uh, a Magic Kingdom tea towel which uh, is quite difficult to show you without expanding it all there we go you see it's got the um, Cinderella castle on the front and it says believe in magic along the side and lastly we got a 2017 Disney World Christmas ornament so this is another little extra bit for the Disney haul video where we're talking you through the gifts that we bought for some of Stevie's family first of all we got this chip mug that's in like every Disney haul that ever did live yeah. ever everybody buys the chip mug but it's not for me, it's for my nan. Her favourite Disney film is Beauty and the Beast. And I just thought it was really sweet. And it wasn't mega expensive like I was expecting, considering how popular it is. So I thought, I really like it, but I think my nan would appreciate it more than I would. So I just thought it was a nice little touch. Let me see where, oh, I got this mug. Excuse me while I take the prices off. So I'm not done that yet. Got a very good Mac sitting and behaving very well. You handsome boy. You're being very good. He's a good lad. And there's another mug. This one's for my dad. So he's not... Most of my family, apart from my nan, aren't massive Disney fans. But he does like Finding Nemo and he has a massive fish tank. Like, that's the size of, yeah. like, half the house. So I thought this was very apt yeah. for my dad. I think, I think, I hope, I, I do think he'll get the reference, but it also has a little seagull inside. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Seagulls are finding Nemo. Mine. Mine, 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 mine. mine. So that's for my dad. For my mum, she did want, um, like, a Minnie Mouse or a Daisy Duck T-shirt or vest top, but I found they were either ridiculously priced or they didn't actually look that nice. Like, they were all really really kiddy like overly kiddy so, like all the shirts that i bought for myself were men's shirts because i thought the women's ones were overly kiddy um but 
Yeah. There's one vest top that I like, but it was like forty dollars for a vest top. Yeah. It seemed a bit ridiculous. So I stuck with mini. I got this mini mug instead. We like mugs apparently. I got a lot yeah, of mugs. Got lots of mugs. But yeah, it's just mini in colour at the front and then black and white versions of mini behind. I think it's the same on both sides. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm not so the price off this one yet, so be careful. And then it's like lilac inside. Oh yeah, yeah. Quite Which a nice mug. Pretty. I need to take the price off. My brother is not a Disney fan at all. Um, he used to watch The Lion King when we were kids, but he's not a big Disney fan. But we went to at Epcot, the Japanese section, that Mitsukoshi, I think it was called the Japanese shop, I might be wrong. But at the minute, he told me he's quite into Attack on Titan. I am leaving the price on this one in case it doesn't fit him so he can get something that he actually wants. But it looks like it might fit. But apparently this is Attack on Titan, I have no idea. I've never yeah. seen it. So, yeah, all the writing's in Japanese. Apparently. Watch it. I'll give it him and it'll be a completely yeah. different thing. In fact, it does. It says Attack on Titan inside on the, oh, there you go. the neck there. Yeah. So I'll give you the price of this one because my brother doesn't really watch stuff anyway on YouTube. But this was $22.95, which was a decent price for a t-shirt in Disney. Yeah. But obviously it's not a Disney shirt. It is a Japanese anime shirt. This little key ring. It's got Sorcerer Mickey on and the date, I believe. Yeah. 2017. It's got like a couple of little things, like a star and then yeah. a little explosion thing. Yeah. But this is for my nan's partner, Mike. I thought it was a pretty little key ring. And he said he liked Fantasia, so. Yeah, a lot of the, well, the 2017 theme for all this new world's Fantasia, isn't it? So all the dated stuff has got Sorcerer Mickey on it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. That's the end of our Disney haul video. Well, Disney and a little bit of Universal, a little bit of NASA. General Florida. Florida. Florida, Florida and eBay. Yeah. <laughs> um, hope you've uh, enjoyed it. Um, make sure you subscribe to our channel to, to watch our ongoing Florida vlogs and our our general videos that we're, we're uploading on a, a regular basis. Um, yeah. We've got lots of exciting things coming. Um, still a long way to go in terms of the content that we've got coming for you for, the, uh, for our recent Florida trip. Thanks very much for watching our haul video today. Mm -hmm. Hope you've uh, enjoyed seeing all this this stuff that we that we got. I um, can finally take Stitch and Tigger upstairs. Yeah, we can finally put this. This, this is what we we got we got home two weeks ago, and uh, this this stuff's been on the table since because we've been uh, been preoccupied with various other things like going back to work and. Uh, and, well, and getting some of the videos online and, and all getting that kind of stuff. Getting back to reality and not having Mickey Mouse around the corner. Yeah, so this is the first opportunity that we've had to uh, to actually sit down and, and spend an hour or so recording this uh, this whole video. So we hope you've enjoyed it. We are ready for some food. Yeah, we're it's, uh, yeah it's half past six now. And, is uh, it? Yeah. Ah, oh, <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah so it's definitely time for us to, uh, to go and get some food. Yeah. So thanks very much for watching you guys, I hope you enjoyed it, make sure you uh, subscribe to our channel to follow our adventures and we'll see you soon. See you soon. Max is modelling one of his Disney bandanas, a little bonus footage for you. You a food critic, just in time for tea? Mm. Nom 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 nom.